the European champion is out, and just as significantly perhaps, Paris Saint-Germain stared into the abyss, faced its fears and, finally, prevailed. It was tense, it was tight, it was nervy, but a 1-0 defeat for PSG was enough to secure an away goals victory and eliminate Bayern Munich from the Champions League in the quarter-finals. The consequences for Bayern coach Hansi Flick, as successful as he's been since taking charge, could be profound as they could be for PSG. Since Qatar Sports Investments took over the club 10 years ago, the Champions League has always been the target. At last, perhaps, this could be its year. But it was a desperately close-run thing. Eight minutes into the second half, Kylian Mbappe found Angel Di Maria with an angled pass. He took it down on his chest, jinked by Alfonso Davies and, as Manuel Neuer advanced, squared the ball. It rolled parallel to the goal line across the six-yard box, no more than three yards out, but a stretching Neymar couldn't get the decisive touch. The look of combined disbelief and horror on his face as he picked himself up and acknowledged Di Maria's brilliance spoke volumes. The sense had begun to settle that somehow, once again, mysterious forces were conspiring against the club in a major European tie. Given its wealth and the nature of its ownership, PSG will attract little sympathy, but it has suffered more than its share of heartache, even despite reaching last season's final following a series of atypical, one-off elimination bouts from the final eight on. Sometimes it has been bad luck, sometimes its nerve has gone and those two factors have conspired to raise demons that it feels the club must constantly battle. Slowly, the clock ticked down. Slowly, PSG edged nearer to a semi-final against either Manchester City or Borussia Dortmund. It perhaps wasn't how anybody had envisioned the tie going, but an away goals victory counts as well as any other. And perhaps, in a strange way, the fact that so much went against PSG and it still prevailed despite failing to score, will be a source of comfort. If it could survive this, what does it have to fear in the future? Alexander Schäuber, UEFA, Getty images at the same time, Bayern began to seem increasingly weary, increasingly short of ideas. But injuries combined with the wrangling over recruitment, the source of major conflict between Flick and the sporting director Hassan Salahamidzik, have left Bayern with a short bench. Once Jamal Musiala 18 years old, making just his sixth Champions League appearance had been brought on, all that remained on the bench was Javi Martinez and a bunch of unproven youngsters. The knee injury suffered by Robert Lewandowski on international duty took a heavy toll. By the end, Eric Maxim Chupo Moing had been withdrawn and Martinez was thrust into emergency service at center forward.